Semi-final number two for ARX from Trois Rivières is on the line. Let's take a look at the lineup for this one. On the pole, Ken Block alongside him, his teammate Steve Arpin, two Ford Focus RS. RX is heading down to turn one side by side. And we've got a pair of Subarus on the second row, Patrick Sandel and Jacques Villeneuve, the Canadian legend racing at home. He's been a Formula One world champion. And of course, he's won the Indy 500. He's even raced here before in World Rallycross. Can he make it through to the final? So we've seen some good starts from row two. I wonder if Sandel or Villeneuve can do anything. Sandel, of course, has got the two Fords in front who can pretty Arpin. much close the door on him. Arpin's been struggling off the line, so let's see if he dials it in this time. Good shout, Bucky. What's Arpin got on the launch? Ooh. We're about to find out. This is Battle of the Big Boys. There we go. Arpin closes the door. Ken oh, typically slow sideways. Off the line there. You slow can off. see. You can, you can see, can't you, the sideways thing? You always say it's slow, and I think there you get a really good, a really good demonstration of that. Yeah, if you see someone getting sideways, the rear end coming out, a little bit of oversteer, and the guy behind you sees that, he instantly checks up a little bit. Sandell into the Joker. Let's see, he's gonna get some clear running here. There's that interesting rear wing again, Bucky. You were down there talking to the SRT USA guys, and, and they took that out. Do you know whether or not they were happy with the results? Yeah, they found, you know what? Sandell was happy with the results. So if that makes the driver happy, so be it. They found a little bit on the straight, and actually the entry in turn one, the car rotated better for Sandell. So that's the positive note there. Ken Block's car showing a bit of mental damage down the left-hand side. I saw he put that on Instagram earlier on. You can see there the entire of the rear left fender with marks all down it. I gotta say, I would love to see a victory lap like him. Yeah? You think yeah. he'd go for it? I think he would send it around this whole thing. It'd be an awesome spectacular thing <laughs> yeah, to watch. A big old show. Yeah. A big old show if Ken Block could take the win. He's up against it, isn't he, against Speed and Faust. But it, if he takes the win here, of course, he will be on the front row with Scott Speed. And how much would we like to see that? Oh, we want that very, very much. Please make that happen. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep holding on. We've got four laps to go to get the block versus speed run down to turn one. It would be good fun. Vilner and Sandel are both jokers. Sandel in front of Vilner. So that means there's now clear track between him and the two Fords. And Block is just edging Steve Arp in here. Modifications to the Ford Focus. And we know that they're looking at making a few more modifications, don't we? They've now got a little gap until we go back to Cota at the end of September to round out the first ever series of America's Rally Cross. I, I know some of the guys are doing testing tomorrow here at this location. So, so if they're you're local and you want to check it out, maybe sneak tell, up. Tell to, them Bucky uh, sent you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bucky told everyone there was a secret test. Come and have a look. Yeah, this place is awesome, by the way. Of course, the good thing about coming testing after an event, after a World Championship and an America's Rally Cross event, is like we were speaking about in the World Championship, we saw the Extrums team, EKS RX. It's an Audi squad that runs in the World Series. They stayed at the last World Championship venue for three days. When you just had a race there, you can compare those lap times. So this is a great place, isn't it, to do a test, because you can go back and go, do you know what? This would have worked yesterday. So those, those seconds that you maybe you wouldn't risk during race day, you can risk on test day. Exactly. If you're testing before for a race, all you're doing is bettering your setups, you're finding what you think is going to be your comfy little pace, but then when you show up on race day, you're like, oh wow, everyone found that comfy little pace. So now you're able to go a step further and actually have something to base it off of and see an improvement. And you can take a risk with the setup too, can't you, on a test day? Because it does, of course, it matters. You want to find more pace. But if, if you go with one way and it's terrible, you no, don't lose a race already, over. I already know Echo is trying out this same way that Sandel has on right now on the test tomorrow. Interesting. He just did not want to change it for this race. No, fair enough. Block. I think Block's using the handbrake a little bit more, possibly even down at turn one, because we've seen a couple of puffs of smoke on the Cooper tires on the rear. He does. He's got the car turned in. Have a look and see if he does it this time. If the rear of the tires lock up a little bit right here on the turn, mid turn in. Maybe not right that there, time. Usually but right there, he'll fix a little fix. If it doesn't turn in, he'll grab a little bit of handbrake, and if he grabs too much, it'll lock him up. But usually they'll just grab the handbrake. That right there was a good handbrake grab. He needed to rotate the car. Sometimes you'll see him reach and grab the handbrake, and it, all it's, it's just unlocking the all-wheel drive differentials. 
opening it up so that the car rotates faster. So we're here in the field of retired, which is a great shame because it means there's now no fight for that spot in the semi-finals. But of course, there is a fight to see who gets on what row. We had our Joe Clap predictor down in the bottom corner of the screen. And Arpin versus Sandel could be pretty tasty. This could be close between them when it gets to the Joe Clap merge. So Arpin is yet to joke up. Lap five out of six, they're going to cross the line now, and it should be final lap time. So they're going to go this time. Here we go. It's Ken Block close. will be in the clear. It's going to be clear for him, but Arpin is going to be in danger of falling victim to Sandell. Let's see. Block on the brakes, turns the nose of the car in. Watch for the handbrake. There it is again. You don't see everybody do that, Bucky. Some people are able just to rotate the car with the left foot on the brake. Different Depends driving on. style. Yeah. yeah. Ken's really, really comfortable with that handbrake. Sandell's going to get him. Sandell, I'm sure, is going to get up, and he's closed the gap down to 1.6. No. Sandell is actually really yeah, close to Ken Block. Great job. So Patrick Sandell is going to put the Subaru on to row two. That was an awesome move right there. He, he really made it up. He just got, he just put his head down and put the laps in. Fantastic. So Block coming down towards the last corner. Patrick Sandell almost there with him. So good results this weekend for Sandell and for Atco. It's Ken Block who wins semi-final number two. He'll be on the front row with Scott Speed. It's been fireworks in the final. Sandell takes P2 and P3 goes to Steve Arpin. Yes. Canadian in the final at home. Great. Yes. And we're getting the show that we want to see. We are. This is the show. It's Block versus Speed. Here is the result of semi-final number two. Ken Block winning from Patrick Sandell and Steve Arpin. Championship points are down the right-hand side. Two Fords and one Subaru going through. Jacques Villeneuve, unfortunately, a DNF, but I know the crowd have absolutely loved seeing the F1 legend here at Trois-Rivières.